episode yeah, four. It's so Tuesday cool. morning. Me and Shay were off yesterday because it was her birthday. So the guys got stuck in and gave us some footage. Further on, the steel work is almost ready. Uh, we've made some preparations. We've needled the house with its large acros. Um, we needed to do this to give us give us some space, basically, for the big steel uh, which is going in this space. Uh, the pads have now been poured inside. The footings are all poured. The guys are really getting on with the garage. I think we're going to be finished with the brickworks to the garage by the end of the week. And that is as much as I can think about for the minute. But we will go inside. We'll take a look around. We'll meet some of the guys. And we're excited for another good week on site. You want to run in? Are subscribe right, ready, come man? back for another tour has everyone read it no. i think it's recorded do i need to press okay. any buttons if i or just that's fine so you're set okay okay it's recording i realized that i forgot that to introduce these two hello do you have a fun fact to note yourself i have a fun fact i write to a prisoner on death row in america <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of it. What's up, baby? Huh? I like that. I love that, baby. Huh? Don't be so cool. What's up, boss? Nice, son. I like that one, baby. Right. Wednesday morning. Day 18. We've already come across a bit of a hiccup with the schedule, as it is in the building game. We are waiting for 140 mil cavity insulation from our supplier. This puts a stop to the brickworks to the garage for the minute, but the guy's going to crack on round the back. The guys are really getting on with the garage. I think we're going to be finished with the brickworks to the garage by the end of the week. Do you want to come through here? So, this is the garage area. We've got a thin out cavity insulation in this side because it's sort of colder room in comparison to where the uh, where the front door entrance is. Uh, so this is where the 140 mil cavity is going to be, and this is where our 100 mil is. Um, the thermal up blocks are going up. The internal course, the front course um, is going to be face brickwork as is with a weather struck pointing. The guys. I'm gonna put a stop to this ah, for the minute, you, just until we get the insulation, but we're gonna crack on around the back. We'll take a look at that now. Went to a zoo the other day. He only had one dog in. It was a shit zoo. Yeah. 
Still work. So the upper props are now in place. We've got the needles above, which we'll show you in a second. This is in place to make our installation of this big steel easier. Uh, we've had to pack up some of the acros inside on these concrete blocks. Not amazing practice, but it's, it's strong, it's fine. Uh, we just didn't have enough of the longer ones. Pads are all formed, that's all done. We will post a picture now of what we're going to use to get these steels up the hill and into position. We originally wanted a crane. Crane only goes to 26 metres, but I think this is about 90 metres, so it's just not feasible. Can't get up the hill with it. Um, let's take a look upstairs and you can see the needles in action. Needles. So these are the needles for the first floor. We have these in place for for ease of installation of insulation, installation of our structural steels. So these come from the external to the internal. This gives us a big space basically for us to work in between. It's strong, it's clean, it's dry, the how we like to do it. And structural work really isn't something you want to cut corners on. You need it to be safe, you need to be secure. And these strong needles basically support that external wall for us so we can work below. Okay, so the second bedroom, we've got more needles. This, so at least this room and that room, because this is where our AB at steel is below. We'll see here if you come on down, Jay. Pack this full of slate, just for the minute, to temporary, temporary prop. Uh, slate's a good material for packing out steel work, and it just gives us a nice, strong, um, packing for the minute to make sure that there's no cracks in the wall, there's no movement. Um, and once again, it's sort of safe and secure. So, bedroom four. We said in last week's episode that we were awaiting a decision. After Monday's meeting, bedroom four is now going ahead. So, we need to pull this wall out, like originally spoke about. New roof. So, we need to get cracking on. We're taking this down, uh, installing the new roof, but we're going to wait for the scaffold for that. Further on, on bedroom four, we've got a new ensuite being constructed here. So we've got a stubble somewhere around here, which gives us our ensuite here. And it also gives us a shower and toilet for the family bathroom. Now, if you come close to Shay, on the plans, you've got two toilets. So we've got a toilet here and a toilet here, backing up to each other. It's not going to work. Two two waste pipes on opposing ends really isn't uh, good practice. It's, it's going to cause some problems. So what we have proposed is for this toilet to be on the external wall and this toilet can stay at the wall. We need to build this up all to a six or seven inch to allow our waste pipe and to allow services in the wall. It's going to be a bit of a Clapham Junction scenario outside, but I'd rather external um, waste pipes everywhere, then poo clogging up, basically, in a nutshell. Uh, in the family bathroom, we have a new sub wall being constructed here, here, with a pocket door going in here. This is going to be a laundry cupboard externally. As you come into the family bathroom, you're going to have a nice big bath over in this area. The reason for the bath being in this area is this steel can't be dropped. It's going to be too much work. We wanted to do it. Um, spoke to the clients. They're happy to keep it as it is, but it gives us a nice sort of <laughs> gives us a nice little snug area for the bath to go in. Um, let's take a look into the ensuite. So ensuite <laughs> doorway being locked up. And this is going to be our main doorway coming in which forms the on suite. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure at this stage, final positioning, but I believe there's a shower in here, a um, bar around this area, and a basin here. But I will get back to you on that because I'm not sure if that's cool. And I'm just going to quiet here. It's not a problem. George is going to give us a talk through the works to the audience. Right, so we've got to take all the skirtings off and the after trays are taking take as long as I've lost them for up yet. But first of all, we're going to apply that so the customers have a nice, quiet living space. <laughs> so it works to the annex. In the words of Shane, the new room unlocks. This is a, more of a suspended floor. This come up, 
quite work out, flooring up, skirt the top, etc. We're going to backfill this with hardcore and then hungry base. Uh, we need to chop it up in the shell round. Camera's probably going to go funny because there's no light. This is coming into the doorway, um, a sliding door. We need to chop this out. We've also got the new window being installed. We'll see this happening, um, I believe, in about a month and a half. Uh, but for the meantime, we're going to get busy taking out the suspended floor. In fact, we need guys in this room. You're doing Thursday morning, it is raking it down. The bricklayers aren't on site today because bricklaying and rain doesn't go hand in hand. So, further on for the steel work today, we've actually got the GAs back from our steel supplier. I will post picture here. On beam four, I believe, we were meant to have a plate welded to the entire top, but we don't actually need it. We need it around the chimney, so we've got them drawings in place to represent the plate and chimney. Uh, these GAs are really good and really helpful for the steel work. Uh, as you'll see from the picture, it's, it's quite complicated. Uh, it just helps visualise uh, fixings and um, fabrication in the right places. Uh, we'll take a look for them now as the guys... Took out the suspended floor yesterday. The hardcore is down, uh, but we're going to take a look at that now. The annex suspended floor is now out. Hardcore has been put down by the team yesterday. George is just getting the sand out for the blinding. We're then going to use our DPM, our insulation, our screen. Um, the bay was actually removed yesterday. I said it was around a month and a half. I don't know why. Um, I was thinking of the windows. So that's now been removed. We just need to chase the brickwork ready for the TD. Um, as I mentioned on, on say Tuesday, Monday, um, we can't take the window out fully yet as we'll need to secure it and it just makes no sense. So that's going to stay in for a minute. Uh, that is it for the suspended floor to the annex today. Um, on the last day of the second, starting for the brick workout. Uh, but we'll take a look upstairs as the Jays, James and Jack are doing their stub work. Um, so if you're good to go upstairs and have a look. What do you think? Of course. Okay, stub work to the first floor family bathroom. As I spoke about yesterday, this is going to be the storage cupboard. James and Jack have done a great job of that so far. We beveled the edge of the stub work here to make this opening a lot more smooth. So the transition into the bath area is a lot cleaner. Um, if you were to come out and have this as a sharp corner, it all gets a bit tight. Um, so that's a better way of doing it. We're just waiting on final positionings of this stub wall over here. So if you want to come round, Jay, careful of the hole on the floor. <laughs> so, you can stay there. Stub wall, coming out here and back here. So this forms our own suite for bedroom four. As you remember, the bedroom four works are now going ahead. So that wall is being pushed down. You're just awaiting some final measurements uh, after a chat with a client today. Um, so we're on hold on that at the minute. Um, I actually spoke about yesterday, sorry. This being a pocket door, I was wrong. This is just a normal uh, internal door. So the Jay's gonna get a lining into this, sort out the bulkhead, and then that's gonna be a door into the new bathroom. Uh, I believe that is it. I'm stuck work at the minute. Uh, we'll try and get some more footage of the guys doing a stub work today. We've got some cable floor to go down the floor, uh, but that is it for the first floor. Oh. 
That's cold. <laughs> oh, we're just prepping up the own site today. It's all got to be called um, on Friday, so just put it in tomorrow. We'll give us a nice solid base to go off of. Uh, get the cavity filled done and back filled around here so we can't have any pushing apart. And just enjoying the weather, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Like, yeah. like a huge gap. Huh? I said you commented on the um, YouTube video. Did I? No, it was here. Callum, for a little girl. Yeah, he was a no, yeah. <laughs> Didn't think his name was Callum, you've been caught. <laughs> Crazy panda, we know who you are. You ain't hiding. <laughs> this sack on the heat. Mine. So if we, we envisage that, mm -hmm. and then so you've got that still. That's still coming across here. Mm -hmm. So that's that still sits on what this? Yeah, that's what the new calculations are waiting for. Cool. So that is from that wood there. Yeah. And then that still sits there. And the extension. What's there to take? Oh, it's there. No, not going to the extension anymore. So there's no steels there. Well, there, there will be a little one. Yeah. Which yeah. Which yeah. Five and until they got down the dampened, so I didn't make it good again. Mm-hmm. Three and one feet. Obviously, I didn't know. There's got to be a post There's no post on any of the drawings. Really? No. I mean, the only thing I did notice, I don't know, it's nothing to do, but something like that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so obviously, that, if you're ever to the other one, we've managed to lose that column and that's it. Just by extending it being 1.2 to this wall. Okay. But I don't even know about it. Okay. Because otherwise, that column is like in here. But then we've got to dig underneath the annex. Yeah, no, that's just not, not fun. No, 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 no. Not fun indeed. Yeah. Insulation turn up tomorrow. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit behind schedule right now. It's like, oh, yeah. We are indeed. But we are. So, I mean, mate, I'll tell you what, though. What are we? Um, what is day, day 19? Day 19. So, we're not even. Oh. No. It'll be all right, it's just rainier than today, isn't it? But we've got 15 weeks to finish. Yeah. Still, next week. Still the next week. Teaching them week after. Done. Done. See you this game. It is. It is. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. Oh, what are you doing in set? Why are you being so convinced? You're going to pick your own. You're going to pick your own. I'll do it. Yeah, that's one day. Cheers. Thank you. Days are not making. This. Thanks for not making a scene. So I've just pulled up to site and I was scrolling through my phone this morning and I found a riddle and I thought it'd be really funny to ask the boys if they can find the answer to this riddle and see what they come out with. So the riddle is what can go around the world but stay in a corner? Right, so we've got the four bolts for the same thing. I'll get the four bolts for the same thing. Look at the mullies as well. <laughs> 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 Goes around the world but stays in one corner. Come back to me. Goes around the world and stays in one corner. You've got no idea. Oh, yeah. There's not even a corner on you. Thing. That did not help my guess, did it? That made me sound even quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a joke or a riddle? It's a riddle. Oh! You got it straight away! Jeez! Check me out. Oh my god! sake! Oh, that's 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Man got upgraded. It's got that AI upgrade. <laughs> 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 I don't know.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to an episode of Four Men One Wheel Barrel. It's taken us about <laughs> what? No, Twenty minutes. Four Men One Wheel Barrel. Twenty minutes so <laughs> far to <laughs> put together <laughs> one wheel barrel. Yeah. I built houses. <laughs> I built bespoke joinery. But this is hard. Very hard. Mm. Oh look, we've got a little. I need to get a nice cool dust cap, but I'll get one on eBay, like the old, you know, the old skull dust caps. <laughs> like a dice in that. <laughs> like a hot run barrel on that. Look at that spinner, bruv. Check the bearings on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rocking the whole thing great. <laughs> right. Oh! What? Hey! Clear up! 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 Oh, wait. Uh, Should've got a sign written, Joshua Lewis. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, there was four bolts I had laid out at the same time. You just keep moving them about, bro. No, that one's the power bad. I'm getting cramped in my f***ing hamstring. <laughs> no, bolt me. Bolt me, baby. Bolt me, baby. Get yeah, that close up shot. <laughs> Oh. Jim at 5 a.m. this morning, when I? Come on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Got that new little rat. <laughs> oh, God, this oh, is a disaster. <laughs> Who do I employ, mate? It looks like this handle's on the wrong way. So, and would you care to explain why the handle's on the wrong way? We had, uh, not we, not we. You. Well, not anyone. Simply you. I had a failure in the, uh, Instruction reading really dick. He was the one tightening them up. Wait, no, there's so much going on. I had to look at the steel plans. Yeah, I've been doing for the past two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy. Got no oh, right. I come on smoke. It's what I do every day. Day twenty, it's Friday morning. We had another great week on site. The Jays finished off the sub work yesterday, so they made this opening here for the ensuite now. We've got a pocket door going in here, so this is going to house our pocket door frame. Uh, that is the size of the ensuite. Now we've had the confirmation on sizing. Follow me through, Shay. <laughs> Family bathroom is now prepared. We've got our opening here ready for the door lining to be installed. The supples for the cupboard are now complete. We've also got, I don't know if you can see through the stub work, this is another opening ready for a pocket door. So we've got a pocket door sliding into the frame here. Uh, the loft hatch is now formed. So the clients asked for a, a large loft hatch. Uh, this is the biggest we could do it. We're going to install a ladder onto this wall and then you can access into the loft that way. Um, Dave, don't worry, mate. You can come. So burn run through the build into the ground floor. The blinding has been done to the annex.
We're just waiting on a whack and plate from Kieran. He's picked this up from juicing this morning, so we're going to get that in. We're going to whack this down. We're going to lay our DPM midbrain and then our concrete on its own. We're doing the same to the oversight on the side extension. We wanted to originally pour that as one whole slab, but we worked out that if we, if we concrete the uh, oversight now, we've got a hard bearing for when we need to do structural steel work for taking out that side board. Okay, so I forgot to add a crucial detail. We've got our reinforcing mesh. This will go into the concrete to make sure that the concrete... Uh, that doesn't move, doesn't split, and it just it bonds it all together. So this is a really key detail for pouring your concrete in the for law. A lot of floor, floor. Okay, so that is the end of episode four. We've had another good week, more demolition. Uh, we're really starting to form and close up the build now. Next week, we've got steel work turning up, so we'll be getting that in. We've got the bricklayers carrying on with the garage, forming the side extension. We've actually got plumbing first weeks next week as well, so should be an interesting week. Like I said, we're really getting on to the project now where we're at the closing up stage. As soon as the steel work goes in, the project really will fly. Uh, I'm happy we're on day 20. We're doing well. Thank you for the support. Please like, share and subscribe.